My name is Rapsy, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon with the pilot. Uh, is it, well, it's not tonic mode, but is it? No. Woo, rolled an eight. Nice. It is not an all curse run. All right. I, I, what I really want to do in this game right now is find a weapon and then just get as many different synergies with it as possible, right? Those have tended to be some of the most impressive and interesting runs of the update. For me and my particular playstyle, I guess. I'll hedge that bet there. Awesome. Ah, oh, still feeling like I'm in absolute molasses here. But so are all the enemies, so it worked out. Damn it, got a transition hand for the gun. Now I can fire around this corner as I was hoping to. <clears throat> Gun nut, please give money. Oh, only five dice. That's really low. All right, so we're not gonna be getting that many casings here on the first floor. That's gonna be a problem. Huh? Whoa. Third spawn in this room, though. I mean, if you just give me enough enemies, yeah, I guess I will make some casings. <clears throat> we'll see what we get at the end of this room and whether it was worth fighting three waves and two gun nuts. Okay. So we got 18 this room. Uh, still feels low. Still feels low. Oh, well. Ah, just trying to make sure that I don't get that chandelier dropped on me because I've had that happen before and did not particularly enjoy it. I know! Just wasn't exactly my kind of thing. No. no flip tables, thank you. No money from that room at all. Oh, no, no, no. We did get some money from it. We got money from the gat that we murdered at the very start. We got exactly one casing. So there we go. Now that's enough to live off of. Single casing. All right, Gunnut. How you holding up, bud? Dead in this magazine? Yes, you are. Yeah, we're definitely going to be picking up a weapon before we go in there. Because we're entering from the top, it's either Gatling Gull or the Trigger Twins. If it's the Trigger Twins, lame, and I'm sad about it. If it's the Gatling Gull, well, I'd still prefer to have a weapon. Just because the pilot's base weapon is the pilot's base weapon, the pilot's base weapon is the worst. Apparently 50-50, that. Basically, anything below a green, I'm probably just going to roll the 50-50 on. Although I have just realized that uh, that may have been my weapon chest this floor. Yeah, that's why I usually don't immediately walk in and destroy it. Mm. <clears throat> we may have just made a horrible mistake, so let's see how one that one pans out for us. Because it might be a good mistake. It's definitely a mistake, but it's whether or not it's a horrible mistake that I'm basically asking. Well... There's monster blood as well as the plague pistol. If we can get both of them, we are very, very, very happy because they have a synergy together and then we can start trying to stack that stuff. I don't know how much money I'm gonna get after the boss, but I think I actually have to buy a plague pistol just speculatively. Trying to get absolutely as much money as available in this dungeon, which doesn't seem to be that much. <clears throat> and there goes our water barrel up there in the north. Thankfully, it's very unlikely I'm going to the... Very unlikely I'm going to the oubliette at this rate. Got another 
the key, got some money. All right, so we need eight after the boss. Eight, nine. We need nine after the boss. Mm, we'll see. Possible. Great. Really gave me a health. <sighs> gave me a health container. Red tier chest gave me a health container. By the way, the health containers, that is to say, like the heart lunchbox, that kind of health container, uh, can go all the way from tier blue to tier red. So it can be, actually, I think it might be able to be all the way from tier brown to tier red. So yeah, it was, it was pretty bad for that to show up there. Really like being here, yeah, because if I want to transition across. Basically have to commit to a blank. Right. This is fine, this is fine. Poison on the target. The fact that we had the enemy jump over us there to go to where we currently were, that was so huge. Easy. And I get to keep my blank as well. Hell yes. And I got enough money. Ooh, Pox Cannon. I wonder if that has a synergy as well. With Monster Blood in particular. Because Pox Cannon's obviously related to poison. Literally in the name. 32. There's our monster blood synergy. Has it with the pistol, obviously. Plague pistol becomes pandemic pistol and no other synergy. Cool. So plague pistol now has the slower shots. They bounce off of walls and they have the connection between them that shock rounds typically does. Mm, with this much HP up and this much extra, or rather this many extra keys, Find the secret room. I could have sworn I did. All right, guess I didn't. I'm gonna just quickly check a couple of these rooms that feel like I found the secret room in them, but don't have a current secret room in them. Um. Left and right of this room, I guess. Well, right of this room, at least. All right, and we might actually want to go to the oubliette, so. Let's open that up. There's like no position in this shop for the blank to actually hit to open anything. All right, come on, come on. Find me a secret room, dang it. All right. I'm just blank the largest room and then leave. Sure. I mean, we're very much flavored for the Oubliette, I guess. Plague Pistol, Pox Cannon. We'll be using Pox Cannon the majority of the time, funnily enough, considering. We spent that much energy to get the Plague Pistol, and now we're probably not going to use it at all. It needs more ammunition, yo. It just does. Not that it needs more ammunition cap, it just needs more current ammunition in it, so we need an ammo drop. There we go. Just come on out. You're way too shy over there. There we go. There. Whew. All right. I'm trying to hit all of those super long, but unfortunately, they kept getting caught on the corner. Mm -hmm. Their poison should be enough to kill them now. Come on. Hell yeah. 
Uh, being able to knock targets off because Pox Cannon has a surprising amount of knockback is extremely handy. I know. Pox Cannon has a surprising amount of knockback because it's based on the T-Shirt Cannon Gun, and the T-Shirt Cannon Gun has a lot of knockback. Just, uh, just ask Maud Flanders. Damn. Actually managed to take a hit there. Sad about that. Thought I'd managed to perfectly set everything up that I was actually going to be able to get through that room without taking a single hit, but no. At the very least, it was against armor, so it's going to be against... Uh, or rather, it was against armor, which means it's not against red HP, which means that it doesn't lower the amount of casings that I get from this room. Enemies that hit your red HP don't drop casings. There is obviously an exception to that. There's an exception to almost every rule in games like this. And the exception to that rule is that... Uh, Wow, bad roll on my part. I was trying to roll towards, and I rolled in the entire opposite direction. But the exception is contact damage. You can have contact damage with an enemy and still get... Still be damaged red heart-wise, and still get casings from them. All right what we get for trying to 50-50. You should have destroyed... Oh, no, we did destroy the other chest before. Okay, good. I was thinking that I didn't destroy the blue chest that we broke last round, but we did. Last round, last floor, sorry. Hell yeah. I'm trying to be extraordinarily conservative with the shots in this because we still haven't gotten any ammo for the plague pistol. And I don't want to use my base weapon to have to kill the Oubliette's boss. If I can avoid it. Since we've got monster blood, we don't have to worry about the poison on the ground. We are poison kin. <clears throat> Alright, now where is the chunky lad? There you are. Y'all save it all for later. Give me cigarettes. Wow. It's bad on my part there. You can see they didn't drop any casings. Of course they didn't. It's like red heart damage to them. I'm taking a lot of hits to things that I think I'm dodging. I think I think the reason I think I'm dodging them and I'm not actually dodging them is again a kind of adjustment from going from tonic mode to non-tonic mode. Okay. Just hide over here. That'll work too. Alright, I'm gonna have to go roll through the end of this. Or not. Wasted a lot of shots I otherwise would have wanted to keep. Okay, and the income at the end of the floor is oh, pitiful. <clears throat> Extremely lame. I was trying to explode that dynamite in such a way that it was going to deal a bunch of damage for me. Well, sad how badly I screwed that up. Managed to redeem it a little at the end there. Woo! Those predictive shots are extremely overfiring. I love it. Alright. Knocking him off got me way... I, unfortunately, now the Pox Cannon has problems with ammunition, so I can't throw it into the Blade Cannon as I was hoping to. Right. That King Gat can stay up there. I'm happier to deal with it using the Plague Pistol. Because then I can deal with all of the Gats really quickly as well. <clears throat> yeah, we do need another weapon, so. 
I don't know what the other synergies with Pox Cannon are. I know one of them is if you have the pig, the pig becomes, you know, Cannon. Ganon, the... Reference to... Zelda's Ganon. Right, awesome. From the bullets past. Sure, let's start throwing in the plate pistol. <clears throat> yeah, it's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, look when they start hitting and look how quickly the HP starts to... That's really powerful. That's actually kind of absurdly powerful. I've been extremely underrating this synergy. I've had the synergy once before and... Woo, nice. Poison actually finished him off there. I had the synergy once before and I think I appreciated it at the time, but not enough. There we go. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think I appreciated it at the time. I, I remember specifically swapping away from it. So I guess I thought it was bad. Well, that goes to show what I know. Nothing. That's a, lo that's a long map. Whew. What a chunky map. We now have the ability to steal, so... Every time I see an item, I guess I'm going to be trying to figure out what all of its synergies are. Very much hopeful that this is going to be a special shop rather than a gun muncher. Naturally. Don't have enough guns to really want to use that. <clears throat> also, I've got really good guns. How badly do I want this item room? Like, enough to lose an armor? Yeah, enough to lose an armor. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna blank here. I've got two blanks left. It's fine. One for the secret room. Um, the poison's supposed to be putting that out, but it's not doing it. Uh, which means that I'm going to need to stop shooting that and I need to open it with this. Didn't work. Have to kill it. That sucked. Also, our lockpick has failed uh, three of three times now, by the way, which is just like really, really good and really impressive. And I'm really pleased about it. And I wouldn't be sarcastic about that kind of thing. That's not... That's not my... You know, modus operandi. No, I'm more the spiteful kind. That's not true at all, actually. Alright, let's blank you. Fair enough. Out we go, then. Good gosh. Obviously, I should have taken heart before I left there. Still tilted by how badly that went. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Great mouse with the ability to steal. Was that relevant last floor? It wasn't relevant last floor. Okay, pox cannon and then plague pistol up here. Well, just letting the poison finish him where I can. Gosh, the bullets of this travel extraordinarily slowly. That is to say, of the... Wow, bad roll on my part. At the very least, the, the enemy had already dropped its money, so... I wasn't really penalized for having done that incorrectly, but lame. Actually, hang on. Yeah, it's this that's way more effective, right? Ooh. 
Hell yeah, I'm gonna move above into the side of this. Hell yeah! That was a very good block in a fight right there. I feel at least. Refill the pox cannon. Now I'm gonna start using the plague pistol. See, the thing is the pox cannon and the plague pistol have about the same amount of ammunition, but the plague cannon needs to fire significantly fewer times. Amulet of the Pit Lord has like a surprising synergy or two, doesn't it? I think it was given to me as one of those items that's now just really good because of the synergies it can provide. I hate that I can't undo this. Alright, destroy it. Yes, I could have used a key there, but I didn't want to open a chest before I go to the boss's room because I still need boss weapons. Uh, or rather, I still need to force weapons from bosses. Later in the game, I'm definitely going to need something that I would classify as a boss weapon. Because these don't scale to doing that late well. Mm, let's see if they died of the poison. They do. Great information to have. Knowing vaguely the amount of shots it takes to kill each target, it's helping me save a bunch of ammunition on this right now. Yeah. I wanted to kill the Muzzle Wisps really quickly there, just so that they didn't cause any problems on the environment. Sure, boss fighting time. I mean, probably my best second floor boss, so pretty happy to see you. If I screw it up, it's entirely on me because this is, again, my best fight this floor. Well, I say it's entirely on me, but sometimes you can get really, really BS attack patterns and stuff like that, but blanks. It'd be pretty difficult. Um, I'm kind of just firing in their last known direction right now. Seems like it was working out literally the entire time though, so yeah, go us. Wait, we can stand in poison. Whoops. <laughs> hey, Gunjang, not a bad pickup. Nice to see you, Gunjang. In a very long time. Uh, now, what was I going to check? I was not going to tech guns in. Come on. I was going to check the amulet of the pit lord. Now, I'm pretty certain I don't need to specify that that's in Enter the Gungeon. No. <laughs> Result number two. This item sucks. Amulet of the pit lord. Uh, okay. With any of the guan stones, it has a synergy. Great. Uh, and it has one with a flag on as well. And the Macho Brace. Oh, no, but it's similar to the Macho Brace. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'm going to take the Amulet of the Pit Lord. Possibly. We'll see. We'll come back to it. There's no rush. Except for the band. And the Hearthstone Mechanic. And a acclaimed Oscar award winning Australian actor Jeffrey of Rush fame. All right. Give me none of that, though. Damn it. That was about to be a really cool kind of just walk in, clear the whole room. Sitch. I'm just gonna let them die. <sighs> Alright, 
I do gotta find this secret room as well. <laughs> Knocked him into the pit. Love it. By the way, just before anyone says so, when you knock an enemy into a pit, you do not lose out on the money from them. Instead, it just drops atop your head. So you don't see it fly to you, but it generates directly on top of you. I actually kind of want to open that naturally. But also, there's no way. Yeah. Eh. Three pieces of armor for a single... Mm, quote unquote key. We didn't actually use one. But... That shotgun. Right, I'll take the amulet of the pit lord. I'm gonna start selling stuff. Get that glowstone out of there. Get that junk out of there. All right. All the rest of these I still want. I I don't think I want to go to the go to the rat tonight. South of here? Okay, never mind. I knew where the secret room was there as well, but... It has yet again slipped me. Alright, Gunsheng is a great boss weapon. So is Pox Cannon in a pinch. Nice. I should get that entire room down with absolutely no threat. I love it. I'm hoping that that chance bullet died, considering I hit it quite hard. Oh, no, apparently it didn't die because nothing dropped. Lame. You down here. Nice. I'll go do the challenge room as well. You're probably quite well prepared for it without taking damage. Okay. Did I get him? Damn it, I'm trying to bend it like Beckham. And hit them despite not being in the same postcode, but... Sadly, we're just going to have to accept. Some things need to be dealt with personally. Uh, I think we actually have enough guns. We now start getting passive. So, Ooh, gilded bullets. The gun per set. Hell yes. Uh, that increases your damage. Used to be 0 0.04 or something, but um, it's changed. So I only have the old information on that. As in the old specific statistical information. Damn, that was my bad. I literally just walked into it. Fat bullets, 105, okay. I mean, these pox cannon shots could be real big. Ooh, and I wanna keep my money, obviously, because Gilded Bullet is damage up for more money held. And Gilded Bullets also has a bunch of synergies that make it pretty good. Anything that seems like it would have a synergy if it were royal will have a synergy with it. I basically 50 50 my guess there. Oh, whoa. Oh my god. All right, we need to know exactly what the cap is for Gilded Bullets damage because we have a bunch of red health. my bad. Amulet of the Pit Lord, it doesn't matter. Hell yeah. My mistakes don't cost me. Nice. All right. Whoa, I've actually not done the boss's floor yet. I thought I already had. That's why I used the blank. Whoops. All right, we'll see. <clears throat> Let's check that out about Gilded Bullets right now. Not only what their synergies are, or rather what the synergies of Gilded Bullets are. 
but also what its cap is. Okay, its uh, its cap is at 500. It becomes a 100% damage increase, uh, but it does scale off over time. Uh, lowercase a little bomber gungeonat table tech money. Tables have a chance to be golden. Golden tables don't automatically flip due to table tech money, so I have to imagine the golden tables are worth much more. Uh, old Goldie or the Gilded Hydra and Face Melter. Okay. Not half bad. It is extraordinarily important that we keep as much HP as we possibly can right now. obviously that HP is money, and that money is money. It's also damage, but let's get the truism out there first. That money is also time, I've heard. That's exactly the kind of clear of rooms that I really like doing. It's, it's kind of like a scene from The Matrix in that room and suddenly a bunch of enemies pop up from a bunch of different positions and that's my gun sounds what do you think right, we'll get the damage up before we go to the boss give me whoa this is the room holy crumbs this is the trap room it looks like the trap door is literally directly below her also wow Intriguing. Mm -hmm. And then more. And more and more and more and more. I got this armor to protect me. I'll be fine. Famous last words. Yeah, they sound like it, don't they? Two more. Good lord. We are actually going to be at the 100% damage cap. Nice. <gasps> Holy heck yeah. I also want to be able to get fat bullets, but... Okay. Yep, three more triggers. That's enough. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. That's our 500. All right, let's go fight the boss. Wait, we're picking up weapons before the boss, are we not? Yeah, we're picking up weapons because we want to pick up passives. So that means I open this. Oh, map, okay. Changes literally nothing because I've already seen the entire map. <laughs> I've done nothing but complain about that gun every single time I've gotten it. I'm I'm actually just impressed that the game still keeps trying to give it to me. It thinks that's going to fly after all this time. What? That was really, 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 really bad. And there goes my only blank. I can basically see them, we're fine. Or I could just see the effect that I'm having on their HP overall. Alright, just gonna keep firing broadly. Alright, that's a master round. And some more money! Hell yeah! <laughs> Oh. oh, this is lovely. All right, let's go take Fat Bullets. Fat Bullets has a synergy. What with? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Massive Effect, obviously a reference to the Mass Effect series. 
which itself is a reference to a scientific phenomenon, I think. Not entirely certain. Is it from the Half-Life School of Naming, where it's named directly after a physical phenomenon? Is it another word for critical mass? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's irrelevant to our current run while we are just dunking on everything. Oh, it's, it's lovely. All right, so we basically just need to find the way to heal. So Patches and Mendy, next law, I'm calling it right now. It's going to happen. Ammunition is our biggest problem. So at this point, we can actually start considering purchasing ammunition, but we also have a whole cavalcade, an arsenal, an array of secondary weapons that are not too secondary. Like they're totally reasonable. First choices as well. I want to know exactly what this synergy is doing as well. Let's find it out. Massive effect. I can't just Google that, of course, because there's going to be, uh, I'm going to guess a mm, mass shotgun. There we go. Uh, I think it's going to be a review of Mass Effect. I'm going to say a bad review of Mass Effect 3. And it's going to be titled Massive Effect. Uh, okay, so mass, they just become large. That's literally all that that's performed, unfortunately. Oh, that's really lame, unfortunately. It's still our best gun, because it one-shots everything, as long as I fire at the right distance. Which, as you can imagine, makes life pretty easy. If I had a faster reload, it would be extremely preferable. It's the slow reload, it, almost exclusively, in fact, that prevents this weapon from being great. In my hands, currently. In general, this weapon is great. Already. It's just... Clearing out a lot of mobs, especially, like, a lot of annoying mobs that are running at you, like Blobulons and such. And even here, right? Uh... You can see the limitation that is presented by the mass shotgun. Got one of them to kill the other for me. All that efficiency. I mean, I guess the benefit of the ridiculous size is it's basically impossible to miss right now. <clears throat> so we've got that going for us. We still haven't stolen anything at all. I'm pretty happy about that. How many points of curse do we have? None? All right. Yeah, it's looking like a strong none on that category. All right. Um, that dog was supposed to die in the first hit. That's why I was supposed to be safe there. Or the Displacer Beast. Gunsheng is penetrative, and as a result, I can fire it against those red cloaks without being extremely sad literally four seconds after. There's no room through which I want to go through less. Oh, wow. Through which I want to go less. There we are. <laughs> I always love when death spawns at the very end just to say, Hey, what up? Oh, you're leaving. Oh, okay. Bye. See you next time. Teleporter prototype. The ability to teleport multiple times. I'm going to teleport every time it's up. Yeah, because occasionally it drops you in the secret room. That's literally what I was... Hell yeah. <laughs> we don't...
don't need a sling. Silly game. Give me a sling. Holy crap, we have a sling. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's it's going to be, like, it's going to be a lot of damage against bosses. I'll tell you that much. Let's try it. I didn't actually see how much damage that did. Because I spent the entire time swapping weapons, so... Uh-oh. I'm going to finish out the fight with this one, though. Because the other one is definitely going to cause boss armor a bunch, I have to imagine. Alright, got him. Another monster out for me. Woo, we're healthy as hell. And... Mimics to fight from now on as well. So you get to keep... Uh, whoa. Key shop, key shop, key shop. Not a key shop. Orp, bullet, wooden beam. I'm going to make sure that none of those have a synergy with anything that I'm currently using, and then I will immediately run away from them. If only our internet was faster. Hmm. Come on. Whew. Uh, scope, frost bullets, heart of ice, frost amulets, snow ballet, wolf sniper shells, and muscle relaxant. Okay, so none. Then bullet. I don't think wood beam has any synergies. Can't wait to get to the page and then immediately realize it has a bunch. Bullet only has that synergy with shell that you dual wield them. And wood beam is the final one, right? All right, let's check him. Wood beam, you are only pea shooter. I don't really understand that, but okay. Well, we can happily leave all of those now. I don't really want to take armor damage here, but I guess if I do, I'm not that sad. Just trying to find the safe places. Hell yeah. my first time in a long time making a way through there and then immediately take damage in the next room because I mean like that had to happen obviously to make a point yeah those are pretty fat bullets I like it oh of course Now through to this room, bud. No. Through this room. You're going to have to follow me or I'm going to teleport behind you. Oh, yeah. All right. Head for any rifle. <clears throat> it's about the reaction that one deserves. Don't need any more keys. Kind of want more hearts and armor. And I can also get ammunition in one weapon. Let's put that in the box cannon. Just for the safety of being able to go to the next floor and just kind of destroy things. We'll have our 500 back before we even get to the end, uh, before we get to the boss. That's fine. Yep. Just yep. You can see why I might have wanted this to have ammunition in it. Oh, you eat just enough to stick around after a single shot. All right, cool. Good to know. Right, I was going to check if the secret room to the north, but there obviously couldn't be one. Because there were too many things obstructing the north. Yes. On. Ah, I hate that we got 
hit twice here just to get a piece of ammo. Very aggressive enemies as well, and the thing ran as far away as it possibly could have. Sad. All right, uh, let's refill. Gunshang's already full. Plague pistol, I guess. Yeah, probably not gonna want that. It's also a mimic. So there's a mimic in the mirror on the wall? I don't know how that's gonna work out for us, but I have to imagine not well. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna steer clear of that. Because I know if you destroy the mirror, you get three curse. If you open the mirror, you get like two curse or something like that. So I don't know if I have a good option there. All right, immediately clear the fields. Very much like a speed up game. Woo! It's cannon and, well, it's the play grenade that's full. It's the box cannon getting close. See, the problem basically with the fat bullets, especially on a projectile that already has a relatively large size itself, uh, is the hitbox occasionally intersects with a wall. And it's really frustrating because it always seems like, oh, that shot should make it. No, and it doesn't, and then it doesn't, and then it doesn't, and then it doesn't, and then eventually you take damage because it did. Okay. Poisoned one up already. You're already poisoned also. Probably dead now though. Hey, finish that map. All right. I'm pretty, pretty happy to open the chest immediately. Hmm, piece of armor and a piece of armor every single floor past this. Nice. I wanna find some special shops, please, though. Yeah, this. What? I was waiting for the rest of that room. All right. Oh, teleporter prototype. I'm supposed to be using that every single time it comes up. Whoops. Not only do I have extra coolness from Ice Cube, I also have the ability to get my active item to start charging even when it's in use. So having a good active item would be great. But in lieu of that, I should just make good use of what I currently have. Teleport around the map a bunch, possibly get to a secret room, possibly get to some sort of super secret room that exists uh, to justify the teleporter prototype. Maybe. If the teleporter prototype allows me to skip a bunch of hell, specifically for this, well, I was about to say specifically for the sake of our ammunition, but our ammunition actually, the problem with our ammunition has already kind of let up. I don't know if that's actually a reasonable representation of the thing that we follow. Right, teleport. And the respawn. Not half bad. Alright, unfortunately, all of my attempts to shoot through them to get to the healer failed right up until that final one. Excellent. Ghost bullets. Ghost bullets. I probably don't want them. I do actually want the impact damage so that I have the knockback, especially on the cannon that we're currently using. Proton backpack. No, I don't have that. Uh, Gunsling's Ashes. No, I don't have that. Lowercase R. No, I don't have that. And I don't have Bounty Bullets either. Um, but, Shelleg Gun. Let's see what you have to offer. What you bring to the table, Shelligan. Only Zombie Bullets and it's a better refund. Yeah, Shelligan. Shelligan ain't great. We actually have the synergy with that as well. Nice. So, little bomber, 
Uh, every time we kill a target with this is going to drop some money for us. Right? Yeah, every time we kill an enemy with the little bomber, it's going to drop some money. We do extra damage, obviously. 100% extra damage already, courtesy of the Gilded Bullets. Uh, and this is just going to give us more money. We don't need the more money for everything. Or anything, in fact. But, eh. May as well. Seems like fun. going to take up a bunch of money. Hang on. There we go. It bounced. Wow. You've been saved from a horrible fate thrice now. The first fate was you were saved from being locked. Okay, no, it's every time you hit an enemy, this gives you more money back. So I imagine maybe I want to use this against the boss. Just exhaust all my ammunition in there. Get a ridiculous amount of money. Now, the damage is no longer increasing past the 500, right? I already mentioned that's the cap. But what if I want to buy things at the end of the floor? Well, I actually don't. Never mind. All right, we're, we're just going to go back to default, which is going to be this on one hand. Here's why I have Gunzheng, by the way. I'm trying to look at overall per second damage for Gunzheng versus this. Hmm. Yeah, Sling's way better. The fact that it enforces its own wait time effectively between boss armor cooldowns is really, really handy. Just gonna stand here for a moment. Yeah, I knew it was so close that the end of that attack phase wasn't actually going to occur. Uh, I think we might lead God at this rate. That's that's fun. It's always nice having lead God. There were actually a couple of rough rolls there. Uh, if I weapon swapped rather than fired the sling on that final hit, I think I could have killed. But remember, I do have a blank. Happy to use it. Got him. Woo, that's a lead god. That's, a, that's about as much HP as you can have, really. Obviously, if I had clone and came back for another run, yeah, you can get, obviously, a bunch more. But I'm talking about, like, in a single natural run that doesn't really break the game in any way. Cool. All right. Let's get out. I mean, I could buy more from the stores, but I could also just not do that because it's not going to matter at all. We've already extremely won. Uh, blood banks are really good if you're reasonably good. And lucky, obviously, as well. All right. Uh, we will be teleporting a lot here, by the way. All right. Yep. Uh, all I had to do there was make sure that as soon as the Shella guns spawned, that they immediately died. All right. I'm going to guess we're going in this direction. Seems like I may have guessed correctly. Though. Woo! Actually managed to stop the summoners. Feeling pretty pretty uh pretty damn pleased about this. Yeah, 
I had to trust that I was clever enough to lead Gunjeng on my offhand, knowing that it was going to be kind of a great panic weapon. And then I checked and it was there. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, this means that this is definitely the correct path. This is definitely wrong. So this is probably the second set because that means this was dead. That was the loop. It goes up in this direction. There's got to be a tr uh, three split up here. And then this is the correction. All right. I don't need another gun. So. Hold off on any offered. Wow, I thought the one to the south was definitely already dead. It died literally moments after it hit me. I think this may actually be the boss room in literally the next location. If I'm correct about my estimation of the map, that's what it's going to be. Yep. Cool. I was entirely right every time. Hell yeah. I feel really proud of myself on that. I'm going to use the plague pistol because... I want to see... Okay, it is actually doing a pretty stupid amount of damage. Right. I mean... Yeah, but compared to the sling, still... Got him. I should have just been using this sling the entire time. I just wanted to switch it up. Pay some homage to the weapon that got us this far. Took out two bosses for us. Two? Yeah, two. Hell yeah. I mean, I could teleport. No, I can't teleport out of this fight. They've disabled that. Awesome. over and then usually hug the wall down to the bottom there same again if there's one on the wall on the bottom then you can just roll over it that was my bad you're supposed to cut across super quickly when those first two spheres come out and that lets you roll back in the other direction for safety i didn't do that i spent my entire time uh Effectively semi-circling the enemy while... Ah! Whoa. You're not really giving as much room to work with here, bud. I was actually... I actually hit the black button there, by the way. I want you to know that my timing was impeccable. It would have worked perfectly. It would have saved me not only from the hit I took, but also from having to deal with this section. But of course I didn't have a blank. So, you know. All cigar and no lighter. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon, Advanced Gungeons and Dragons. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.